Text us your email and then we will add you to a Google link. So, um, okay, let's review um, our last two class. So, last class is what the W family is. The W family, so the first one is no, no, no. The second one is no, no, no. The third one is no, no, no. The fourth one, the fifth one is no, no, no. Next one is po, po, po. Next one is to, to, to. This one and this one does not sound the same, but when you pronounce this one, usually my students, when they pronounce this one, they pronounce this one. So this one is no, no, no. And this one is no. Okay. So uh, uh, the fifth family is um our own family. The first one is no, no, no. Second one is to, to, to. 
the one is full, 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 which is the last one. It's still no, uh, I mean, no, no, no. This two does not sound the same. This is no, this is no. Okay? So our last family is the string family. So let me do that. And after the last family, I will review all seven families at least from the beginning to end. So the seven family, which is our last family, is called straight family. It doesn't look like any then we cannot group in any kind of group because it's really it's just different. So this one is like this. And that one is call. Second one. That's what is saw. Jaw. This one. Jaw. So. So for this strange family, it's hard for me to explain how to write it. But for this one, for this one, it's kind of hard. So uh, how do I explain it? Um, it's kind of like half circle, and then no, not half circle. What is it? A snail, the snail bud. You want a spiral? Yes. I. <laughs> so a spiral, like like that, and like that. So it's kind of like, yeah, we call it snail, but the house snail. A gook chong, I guess a gook chong. Then somehow it's a moon. We have a moon right here, half moon. Okay, that's call. Oh, so, I don't know, that's none of this is grouped together because it's just a strange, completely out, I mean, our place of other families. So that's why I put in a strange family because they're just different from each other. And this one, you start jaw. <clears throat> jaw, you start with a U. And then you circle, half circle inside on the right side. And then the upside down W. Okay? This one, you start from a straight line, a half circle outside. And then it just went down like a, what? a slide, yeah, a slide, and then another half circle. Then the upside down you. So that's why it's tall. And why is it? But so it's you, but the right side is a little higher, and then you got a half circle outside. And then you got another side way you like that. Okay, if you divide it, um, um, connect it together, it's not like that. So like this side is just a little higher, so you make the um the circle turn with the U, so you could be like so U, a little higher, little higher, longer, and then half circle, and then a U, a side way U. So that's a strange family. So I will pronounce each of the consonant and you could write it as the way you, um, I pronounce it, but, but the way we, I write it is just different. If you wanna write on your own, that would be fine too. So this one is call, call, call. This one is call, call, call. This one is call, Tall, tall, and this one is so, so, so.
So that's our summer family. So I give you guys some minutes to just um, put you down or so just screenshot it. Okay. So now next up is our bonus food. That is, I will say it's a lot, but um, I think you sure you guys know how to say this, but um, that's gonna how how different areas or how the way we play it on different side or different situations. So I'll tell you how to say mom in Khmer. Ma, mommy, mother. So most of the time, the people call like myself. I call my mom Ma. That's the modern, like modern my generation. But now generation they said mommy, mom. So it's like American way. But Ma, uh, when I call my mom, call her Ma. Oh, oh, shoot. Hold on. Oh, mommy. And another word for it, um, I would say in um, my mom's generation or country side, they call um, their mom differently. They call my. So, but, but, and there's one that you inviting. I, I heard, um, I, I see a lot of inviting, but not people call it like um, normally and daily, um, daily basis. But I. So this one, if you heard it in a uh, Khmer literature, Khmer writing, Khmer poem, or in a um, TV show, because they use that, or they use this one, use that one, but mostly in like a full movie, it's that, yes. Um, you have a question. So how did you say my for Chinese Cambodian folks? Chinese Cambodian folks, they call ma. So the Chinese ma, a ma, 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 right, ma, yeah. Ma, yes. But how do you say yay though? It's how you say Oh, ma. Yeah. Because I thought ma is for grandma. Ma is for grandma, yeah. But for, but for mother, I thought they say a different thing. Hmm. I have to do research on that, yeah. Because I'm a little Chinese, but I don't call her the Chinese way. And the other one, this is another one. Uh, no, I thought that's a fourth one. Oh, net. Net. Net, they use it too, but not like um, often, only like. Um, I mean, it's depend on um, the person because what from what I heard, um, my experience, 
the person who called that is they not uh, live near um, like um, the capital city, like the Gao, those the kind of stuff. They, the Gao and stuff they call my or my or my dad, but like on the, the borderline, I heard them call them like net. But I don't, I might be wrong, but I called, I, I did heard someone call their mom net. So that's one more too, but it's a, the least I heard, I only heard two people calling uh, their mom that. So. And if you've been watching our last couple of class, net, I always teach that when you call them, the teacher, female teacher, net, guru. So for the female teacher, you all um, female teacher, female doctor, they call net guru. Okay. And if you put in another center in a um depend on the sentence you say, that's in turn into a person. If you say um da net the na, so it's turned into like you, where where are you going? So this one is you have to use the concept clue or like of what the person said it to. So if you said, oh, um, I'm gonna go to the hospital, I'm gonna go see doctor. So but that group bed is specifically for the female doctor. But when in a general, so um, where are you going? So this one in this term is mean you. So, okay. yes. So the person also said my mom is called Nat. Oh, see? I don't know that. So there are some people, they still use it, but I never heard of it. So, yeah. So it's not like, um, you, it's not, it's like not, how is it in English? Um, offensive. offensive. It's just in general. You could use any of them to call your mom, but it's just for me, I only heard people from like, um, the game in J, but the ball, but the ball, no, but not my ball, but I heard it from Play Way, you know other country they call them net but in the plumping i rarely hear people call their mom net mostly they call mom i call my mom um ma and but i call my yay ma so it's kind of like see it's just in our culture or our childhood thing is play different things so my it's mean mom but when i call my grandma i call her my because that's how my mom called her so i call her mother and call her yay so it's just the way um your how you grow up and where your surrounding is what what oh uh, so that is that but um i have a whole family tree of how you call i mean only the two top uh, top two that have a lot is uh mom and father and then there's some um, how you call your grandparents and this and that. So if you want to know the Chinese part, uh, I, I did have the paper, but I didn't read through it yet, but I did. I know that's the Chinese, Chinese, Cambodian or Chinese, Cambodian, American, they call their mom, their grandma and their grandpa different things. So, but, uh, anyway. so that is all for, um, our family today. So this is our last family. Yes. Thank you Oh, thank you. Hi. I miss you. I want to see you again. Hi, Tay. If you come back, ask me. We go eat out again. Oh, okay. so, this is our last family. So um, if who. If you guys have been looking through out my um, my class, please go back to the first class with our first family, and I will be reviewing that with you guys. Let me find a note too. Okay. So our first family is a core family, which is core is a First consonant in the part. So I call family, the first one, obviously, ga. The second, so ga, ga, ga. The second one is go, go, go. The one look like go, but have a line inside slanted. 
and the third one is star, which is the one that have the circle inside on the left side. So the circle is on the left side, but inside that's called star, star, star. And the last one for the golf family is the circle outside on the left side. So that's one is called ho, ho, ho. And our second family is the comb over hair family. The leader is wo, wo, wo. The second one is ro, ro, ro. The third one is a, a, a. The last two sound the same but looks different. It's ta, ta, ta. The big tar is the one with the circle outside on the left, on the left side. The, the half circle is outside, but it's on the left side. And the other one, the, the half circle is inside, but it's on the right side. So that one is a small tar. The other one is a big tar. And our third family is a two dragon head family. The leader is yo, yo, yo. The second one is ko, ko, ko. The third one is to, to, to. The fourth one is mo, mo, mo. <clears throat> one, two, three, four. Oh. The fifth one is mo, mo, mo. The last one is so, so. So, our fourth, no, um, our fourth family is the one dragon head family. The first one will be low, 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 which is the opposite, opposite from high, like a low, like low, um, low tie, um, what else? Um, you are, um, what's wrong? Below, the, the word low. And the second one is ha. Ha, ha. And the last one is law, 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 which is the law itself that we have to follow. And the fifth family is the um family. So it's, yeah. How do you say that in English? Um, oh, hi, Simon. So, um, to our Kyung Tao KFC. Because KFC is a name, so you cannot translate it. Okay? So the um family is the first one is no, no, no. The second one is to, to, to. That's the big toe. The one with the, the, the half circle inside, and then just there's a slide going down and it's going up. So that's a big toe, and the next one is bo, bo, bo. And the last one that I'm sure you guys have a hard time to pronounce that too, and mix up with the other one, is nyo, nyo, nyo. Yes. It's, it's focus. Is it because of my laptop? That's one second. Is this really blurry? God. Is it better? Hold on. No, I think it's my um computer laptop because for Tavi it was yeah. Okay, so I think we're gonna change the laptop to uh, uh, another one. Next next class I'm gonna use a quick laptop. Yeah. Someone said you're doing great. Oh, thank you. So our sixth family is gonna be a W family. Is the first one is no, so no. The second one is no, no, no accent like yes and no, so just no. And the third one is no, no, no. Then the fourth one is no, no, no. The fifth one is paw, 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 as in like the cat paw, the dog paw. 
so that's easy to remember. And this one is to, the sixth one is to, to, to. This is a small to. The one with the W, the w, you write, start with the W and then there's a circle inside on the right side and then there's an upside down W on the top. And then the last one is no, no, no. And which is, which is our last family here. It's a strange family. It's gonna be call, call, call. The second one is call, call, call. The third one is call, call, call. And this one is will be go, go, go. So today is concluded with our 33 consonants. So next class will be last class, which is I will put all of them together in order, just like the ABC rules, but it's just in our order and how we, we write it, like how you see in a normal way, because um, in our, <clears throat> in our Khmer um, consonant, there's, um, there's um, hold on. I think there's seven lines, and the first five line that's five consonant and then the last the last two is the four consonant you see how like it's for when you um heard on <clears throat> when you heard in the song it's like uh, kako, kongo, it's kind of like that i'm gonna write it all out and then we're gonna pronounce it the way it's supposed to be um placed so and we have five more minutes any question, any comments? So I got comment that the camera is not that well. So that's my computer. I'm gonna change it to my oh um, my other one. So next week is gonna be better. And oh if you missed it, so our, all our classes is will be on our website cmaalow.org and on our Facebook will be CMA Cambodian Mutual Assistant Association. Yes. Um, how do you say dad? Uh, if you're gonna ask about that, you're gonna ask about how you say daughter, son, so it's kind of like that's another whole lesson. So, yeah, unless you guys want to do that next week while we do it all the consonant, and then I teach you the family tree. Yes, if we have time. Yes, <laughs> that's that. Yeah, that's that. Um, there's four ways to, to say it. Um, the more normal way, I'm not gonna write it. So the normal way, which I call like my generation, I call my dad. It's obviously you know, pa. Um, in in writing or in the countryside, either they call al or book. But in the uh, home literature, they they call it al book. So that's four. So, pa, a, book, and then there's a book. Okay? Here, I don't know. Um, I don't, um, if you're asking about Chinese, Cambodian, American, um, I had to go back to my lesson and then I be so good to that. I have, um, yes, my student, no, 100% they are half Chinese, so they did ask me that, so I did research on that. And where was I? Uh, what list we submit to our uh, one one couple of one? Yes, is the um the how you write it and all our consonant in there. There's a way um the list. It's not the list. It's a document that um, practice you how to write it. And there's a note number one, number one, two, three. How you start and how you end. So. Yeah, so um, I folder is PDF file, so you could download it and print it at home or print it anywhere or well, practice it on the computer screen if you want, so it's PDF. So if anything, you could send it to uh, Messenger or Cart app. <laughs> uh, yes, so um, comment if you want it. Um, the uh, want us to add your email into Google Drive. <laughs> okay, cool, thank you. And so, oh yes, our, our lesson will be um, on Facebook. You could find it in our video. Um, 
our videos, you know, video posts, and also on our CMAA website, which is cmaalow.org, and we also have the link on to direct that too, but I think we have figured out the setting how to just to publicize that, so you have to comment your email to add it to our, um, our link. And probably we'll see you to send you the form, the email, otherwise. And there's no question, so how do you say, oh, no, no, just a general. Oh, I always answer spa. Like, um, I think we get it from the Spanish community. Okay, I heard they heard, they heard uh, I heard they say Papa, Papi, because I think we get that from two or French. I don't know because I, I don't know where, where that word comes from. There's um, the origin, so yes. And it is, it took two minutes left. So, any question, any comment, just letting you guys know next week in our cl last class and for our next series. Oh, yes. We have our low. Huh? And this announcement, I forgot about it, but um, we have a low virtual event that we showcase um, Cambodian um, cultures slash community, like there's my clothes, there's um, instrument. Um, what else? Story, um, reading. story reading, and there's some. Um, um, what's it that thing called that you? Yeah, ceramic. Small, no? ceramic. Yeah, ceramic. Yeah. But it's only short clip because we, this is the first thing that we do, like the first event that we do on virtual. So if you guys could come by and see how it is and comment how we did better, maybe next time we make a big one, like two hours with all the fashion show and stuff. So, and I'm a co-host with a. Uh, my assistant here, uh, the one that my, oh, not my assistant, no my assistant. Um, yeah, my team. This one, the one that start up the online, um, the online my class. So she right here, Tavi. So she's a coach. I'm a co-host. If you want to come by, um, drop by. So it's on Facebook Live. Is it on Zoom? Yes, it's on Zoom too. If you want to follow, just go to our Facebook, and there's a link there. So. Yes, uh, PDF. So if you want PDF, send the email. And what else? Um, oh, yes. Our last class is next week. So after that, we're going to take a break because I have um, the youth program coming up. So there's going to be a new time and a new day for next series. Next year is going to be the vow, the connecting vow, not the independent one. So we're going to learn the connecting vow with both. Um, what does it say under the eight about the car? Oh, there's the, what is it? Oh, it, this is a seven, seven and a strange family and a shortcut the family. And when the class are done, um, there are more level up. Yes, there are more level, uh, I would it's level up, but it's still in a basic. Because you just learned the first part of Khmer literature, which is the consonant. There are four more, which is the connecting vowel, independent vowel, um, and what's the other one? Um, symbol. I don't know how to say that word. But symbol. There's a symbol that you have to learn too, and those is um, the the last the last one is the hardest part. I can't manage. I mean, I I have to manage myself. I have to re how to teach you guys to remember it. Yeah. So that's like, there's only 10 or 15 symbol, but how you know which one to use. But that's hard. I still have to check the dictionary for that too. So, so that's all for today. We passed by three minutes. Just let you know, this is our second to last class. Next week is our last class. So. And if you want to join our next class, just um, go out to Facebook, Instagram, and website to get to know our new day and new date, new time, new date, because our, um, my youth program is how you know? How you know? Um, uh, my youth program is up, so I don't know what day, what time we're going to be um, doing online class again. So.
So that's it for today and see ya.